Hey guys, I know it's late at night, but I just wanted to show you guys some quick videos. Forgive me for my nails. I need a refill. But anyways, um, so basically this is the soap I made in the last video. It, As you can see, the color sucked. It totally, let me show you guys the light. So the color was nothing like I wanted it to be. It came out this really weird brown color. But, you know, overall, I mean, it still cleans. It still does what it's supposed to do. And I'm sorry, I'm not in my soap room today. I'm in my kitchen. It's still amazing. I'm still going to have this soap up for sale because other than the color, it cleanses your skin perfectly fine. And I love it. I mean, I'm using this soap now. It's beautiful. It smells amazing. And it's just the color. Anyways, I want to show you guys my other soaps. This one's already listed on my website. But this is my eucalyptus essential oil glycerin flowers and basically this just has eucalyptus essential oil that I've infused it in um, with calendula petals avocado oil I'm sorry calendula petals are infused with avocado oil and eucalyptus essential oil and I've only added a minimal amount of eucaly I'm sorry uh, avocado oil not too much because um, I want it to be mostly eucalyptus essential oil but this is amazing for acne prone skin this is my best seller, my Sweet Pea Blocks Glycerin Soap. It smells amazing. I love it. This is the one that I have in my bathtub at all times. I love. I just love the Sweet Pea scent. I mean, I use all my soaps, but the scent, I love that one. Um, this is another soap that I made. This is my Lavender Essential Oil Cold Process Soap. And I've added a little bit of glitter on the top, and it came out perfect. I loved it. I've tried it already, and it smells amazing. So... This is this one. And then my Synergy No Name Soap because I don't have a name for this one yet. Basically, it's like a pumpkin crunch type of scent with some orange sapphire in it. And it has eucalyptus essential oil. It has tea tree oil. A tiny bit of apricot scrub. Let me see if you could see that. There you see it. And it's only like on like this bottom half here. So you don't necessarily need to scrub your skin if you already have like, you know, really sensitive skin. You don't have to scrub with it. You can just use it as a soap, a hand soap, whatever. Um, but this is basically it. These soaps are listed on my website or actually these three will be listed on my website. But I hope you guys like them. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys later. Bye.